Like, who wants to be on a stakeout when we can be hanging with Sia? And we vegans. Alright, grab some snacks and hop in the back of your friend's van, because Velma and most of Mystery Inc. are back in a new show on HBO Max. Okay, so the reviews aren't great for this one, but we're mostly focusing on Shaggy's history, so it doesn't really matter. I'm Scott David, the Director of Investigations at Animal Outlook, here to look at more plant-based themes and characters in media. In case you somehow didn't know, Norville Shaggy Rogers is one of the main characters in the Scooby-Doo franchise, about a group of young people and normally one to two talking dogs traveling around in a van, unmasking people, pretending to be ghost clowns and cavemen and such. Shaggy is one of the many fictional characters whose stance on eating animals has changed over time. When the original show, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, came out in 1969, you could see him eating ham sandwiches, anchovy pizzas, pretty much anything he could fit in his inhumanly large mouth. Shaggy was voiced by Casey Kasem, who also became a legendary radio personality. Kasem stopped eating meat during the filming of the second season of the show and wanted Shaggy to do the same. Kasem actually quit voicing the character for a while rather than perform in a 1995 Burger King ad. He returned in 2002's What's New Scooby-Doo, a series that introduced a more noticeably vegetarian Shaggy, as per Kasem's requirements. Whenever he talks about food, which is pretty frequently, he's never pining over meat. Hey Scoob, how's your ice cream mushroom pizza milkshake gumbo? Shaggy continued to be vegetarian whenever voiced by Kasem. There was also the 2002 live-action movie where Shaggy was played by Matthew Lillard. Despite it not being Casey Kasem, Shaggy still seemed to be vegetarian. You can see him with that classic vegetarian dish, an eggplant and chocolate sandwich, early on in that movie. Kasem championed a meat-free lifestyle whenever he could, like in interviews and even to people he was sitting next to on planes. He said he saw a steer slaughtered in front of him at age 15, and he was so disturbed by what he saw, he stopped eating meat for about six months. He did start eating meat again after that, uh, admittedly because meat was customary. When he finally gave up meat for good decades later, it was his prior experiences, plus a desire for a healthy lifestyle that helped him do it. He also learned how harmful meat was for the environment. And yeah, eventually he became fully vegan. We got it! As director of investigations for Animal Outlook, I tend to focus on the ethical aspect, which is the first lesson Kasem learned when he saw that slaughter firsthand. But people give up meat for a variety of reasons, as you can see from charts like this. Concerns about animal welfare are still the biggest reason why people give up meat entirely, but health, concern for the environment, and even taste preferences can get people to change. By taste preferences, I assume that means a preference for eggplant and chocolate sandwiches. Casey Kasem continued to be an outspoken vegan until he passed away in 2014 at the age of 82. Since then, Shaggy seems to have gone back to his meat-eating ways, including in Velma's new show where he does online snack review videos, but he and Scooby did enjoy some huge veggie-filled sandwiches, cotton candy, as well as vegan pies and milkshakes while hanging out with Sia in another show, Scooby-Doo and Guess Who. Here's hoping Shaggy goes back to snacking on zucchini and curly fries in a future series. That's all for now, but before we split up and look for clues, please like and subscribe for more content like this, as well as investigation videos and other educational content. I'll see you next time.